Hi, there's Kevin. And Zach. Commander Legends. Legends. This is what we've all been waiting for. I've been waiting yes. for this so much that I don't even know what's in the set. Do you? There's there's a fake Black Lotus. Everyone's well, I know that. Though. That's like the one card I know. I, I know. And, and and thanks for whoever sent us these. I've only found six that laying hipster. around now. So, so I appreciate it. So are we doing it? What are we doing? 12 packs each? Let's open it up, just which see, is ridiculous. We're like trying to figure out what this box is. There's supposed to only have 24 in here, so why But they... there's 20... There's 20 cards per pack. Okay. So it is huge, and it's going to be okay. a mess, it looks like. Okay. So, so, yeah, Commander Legends, you are supposed to draft this, which yes. I think is is pretty fun. Yes, should be I pretty guess. fun, anyway. It should be interesting. So I actually don't think I'm going to hate this set. I think I'm going to actually like this set. I wish Magic would do more of these type of products, because products are meant to be played. Yes. Not just opened up for, for what we're, we're opening these cards I, I know. Well, we're <laughs> letting everybody see what's in them. They are thick as heck. They are. A nice, good seal. So we'll kind of go over these a little bit and see if we can get the jeweled lotus in here. These yeah. are some thick packs. Go over thick through boys. a few of them. Yeah. I mean, we've already seen majority of these cards, but I mean, just a bunch of reprints, some interesting commons. Wow, card quality does seem pretty. I, I, it does seem a little bit different. It seems like a really mix inky. between the really two. Really inky. Does it smell really inky? So yeah, it smells, it smells not bad. There's an expanse. Like the only, we've got one see, line. we're the only. Uh, Channel does the smell test on the products, right? Yeah, they, they don't smell too bad. Well, there's an open the armory. Golem. Oh, a, 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 acorn freaking heck. Acorn Archives, signet. Yes, acorn signet. Well, there's a, a core. Is there... So there's... So the couple, commons are... Oh, so there's a are, legendary okay. section, I yeah, think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you get, okay, you get your commanders, okay. your, your choice for, like, commanders. And it's just... And you take two per, right? That's how... how yes, uh, you take two cards per... Uh, thing when you're drafting two not, picks at a time. Two, no, yeah, not two and then one one. That messed me Correct. up on the double yes. masters. Yeah, that um, messed me up too. So. All right, so yeah, so basically. And then they are sixty card decks that you build, and then six, you can play as a pod or play one on one or whatever. But it's a commander deck, and you can have multiples because it is. It's dra it's, yeah, it's okay. draft. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So. All right, so. Yeah, I haven't really looked at the theme. I know they printed a lot of Monarch, which is upsetting Popper well, I guess again. I read those cards out. And there oh, have good. been some downshifts. I know the Fiery Cannonade was the big one that Popper's talking about. But all in all, most of these so far have been reprints in the common slots. I didn't see any that were new cards. I may have to research this set more. I've just been so busy. Uh, one yes. thing after another of product is coming out like crazy it's not just it's not just magic it's Yu-Gi-Oh and pokemon and everything else is so crazy um saw the strong that's a downshift is it yeah that is a rare out of Ixalan. oh yes so that's a downshift right. and then we have the oh! that's in the set yes so there's there's our hundred dollars for this box k okay, thanks see you guys later how do you know Manadrain is in the set? They spoiled it very, very last. Okay, it was so like one of the last card. That's not bad at all. And then we have the Aruhu of Solemn Ritualists. The what? Al, oh, Al, oh, Al, oh, oh, Al Haru Solemn Ritualist. There we go. Enters the battlefield, put a plus one counter on each of up to two dark creatures, and whatever the creatures you control with a plus one counter on it dies, create a one one white spirit creature token flying. There's oh non token creature dies. Okay, I'm like, if this is only one one one, that could go infinite pretty pretty easily. easily. Partner yeah. on that guy. And then a legendary dwarf artificer. Whenever a creature you control that's enchanted or equipped, uh, attacks against double strike. Kind of Not cool bad. one. With... This, oh, this one. is the this is the one out of the commander deck. Oh, is it? Yeah. So oh, I guess okay. you can get them in here as well. So I wonder if there's any unique cards in the commander decks. Well, there's only Again, I don't even know this set. Cards in is this it a foil set? in every pack too? I guess. I uh, maybe. Maybe token. it hasn't curled yet. Here, so, we should. So we'll leave it here. So where's our rares? Mix less sorting later. I don't Mixed care. Sorting later. Well, we're opening stuff, so I don't think it matters too much at this point. I don't know all the cards. We'll let you kind of look through some of these. I mean, there is 24 packs to go through, just to give you guys an idea of what's inside of them. Um, so look, we got another welder. Oh, so they reprinted oh, Thinorn Elf. That's, that's expensive. That's cool. One. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the fire diamond, which that's nice because those were they, all like oh, say, five goodness. bucks. Oh my They downshifted these. Are they common? Oh, yeah. it is a common. Wow. That might be popper. Wow. Well, you got the signets already that work from pop. No, yeah, those are uncommons. Yeah, that's right. The signets are uncommon. No, they're no, they're not. Are they? 
All right, return all I artifacts, enchantments, and planeswalkers from the graveyard to your battlefield for nine mana. Ooh, that would have been... Oh, oh, so you can get three, four rares in a pack, I guess. Yeah, with a foil. With, with a and foil, the... yeah. So, because we've got this Yule, Yule, but uh, Vigilance and Reach, um, whenever he or another creature you control dies, return up to one target he? creature card. Or is whenever this plant person... Well, I, my bad. I know I'm terrible, she? but whatever. You can get it from your graveyard. And then uh, he, is, she, or oh, wait, that is an angel, so they have no uh, life form. So then rather than pay two for the previous times, you cast this spell from your command zone, pay two life. Um, that many times. Um, it has flying, lifelink, and whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. So that could pretty be good. pretty, pretty interesting. And a $50 foil that was $50 until they reprinted womp, it womp. seven times. So. Yeah, was it in Mysteries as foil, too? Is that what I it's up with it? I think yeah, so, yeah. Like that. Yeah. All right. So I don't think we need to go through the commons anymore. I don't think there was anything that was. There was a well, couple Well, we saw new some ones, things that were but... downshifted. There's. I, Massacre, was that downshifted? I'm not sure if that I was or not. I think it was because it wasn't common yeah. in. Uh, well, Origins. Too many Yeah, sets. there's the Fire Cannonade downshift that Popper's going crazy about. Yeah, that'll be nice. Uh, so we have the Sunset That's Pyramid. Perfect one for Is that Popper. what downshifted too? I no, it wasn't. Remember. No, it wasn't. It wasn't there's only 100,000. Okay, like 50,000. Yeah, Lore Seeker cards. Stone. The Kumbaj Witches. Good Popper card. The Immaculate Magistrate Ooh. for Elves. Must have an elf theme. Juru, Master of the uh, the Revu. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, you put a boss on the counter on uh, Juru. And when Juru dies, it deals damage equal to his power to any target. All right. And then we have the Ghost of Ramirez Di Pietro. Uh, can be blocked with Toughness through a greater. When the Ghost deals combat damage to the player, choose up to one target card in the graveyard that was discarded or put there from the library and put that card into its owner's hand. And then we have the Foil Hero's Blade. Ooh. And the Prismatic Piper, which was in... What set was this? Oh, that's in? Foil, and then there's an extra one? Yeah, what's this? Where'd this color? come from? That's from this set. This, I know, no, but wait, why was it? was it... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This was just spoiled a long time ago. This is yeah. the first spoiler. Yeah, yeah, that's... Why was the Foil... I don't... I guess there's colorless ones in specific spots. <sighs> I guess so. Crimps are going to be pretty cool from this set, though, because these packs are sealed tight. All right, I guess we can fan through these real quick, see if there's anything of interest. I'm not seeing anything too crazy. I mean, we did get Command Tower. Command Tower, Tower Flashback Marauder. Yeah, Demonic Heart. Lore. Oh, yeah, really? The set's pretty good. No, it's, it's not too bad at all. We got a Druid, any of the new. We got that Commander already. And, oh, yeah, so the Colorless yeah. has its own Little slot. Little slot in there. But, but that's not too bad, and a few new legendaries. But... What does this guy do? Oh, this guy. That's Let's new. read him. Um, so whenever he enters the battlefield... He? I always say he. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. Whenever Root Weaver Druid enters the battlefield... Whenever this card enters the battlefield... Fine, I don't care. Each opponent may search their library for three basic land cards. Uh, they each put one of those cards into the battlefield tapped under your control. What? They each put, yeah, so one, they're of put the, one of theirs under, under your control, control and the rest, the rest on uh, their yeah. control. Holy each player cow. does this. Yeah, Don't that's play this crazy. card. That's yeah, going to be annoying. You'll go get me Urbor, Team and do you get to choose? No, they no, get to no, choose. No, they get to choose. So they so they go go eat you a basic land and then put the rest underneath their control, but then they shuffle their library, but that still is Yeah, so you, in a four-player game, you get three lands, they all yeah. get two lands, but they all get busted lands. That's a new lands. one, too. That's terrible. Ink Tikiki. How, how the heck do you say his name? Makes a golem. Yeah, it makes a golem. Yeah, it's makes a counters cool. Kinda, Whatever. Kinda filler. Interesting. All right, here we go. Here we go with the more mana drains. How do we even top that? We opened up uh, yeah, that too get, quick. Yes, the very first pack. I mean, we well, can, that's a cascade we, counter. We gotta get spell. a foil rare, hopefully. Kind of cool, but it's kind of weird too in a deck that wants to be yeah, running instances that's to very react. True. All right, so let's go to the Skybot Diamond. Ooh. We have the Furnace Celebration that works off sacrificing stuff. Know what that card does from pack of the day. Yeah, Glit Gitliff Winnower is another downshift. That was a rare in uh, Origins. Oh, it was a yep. rare in Origins, correct. Uh, Supreme Will, great card from Almond Kit. Uh, slash the Ranks, destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. Kind of pointless there. Yeah. Uh, flying Vigilance, uh, attacking creatures get plus two, zero. Blocking creatures gets plus zero, plus two. And this Sinai Eye of the Storm uh, when it cyanide out of the storm attacks, scry X, where's number of attacking creatures? So, very filler there. 
and then we have a Kinsblade Courier and other Prismatic Piper. So it just it's trying to guarantee that you have enough commanders to do something, I guess. Yeah, well, there's like a the, lot of they don't have the rules. Do you have to run your colors or um, I think so. I'm not. But for the Prismatic sure. Piper is all awesome. colors. I mean, yeah, that's so that's common. probably. Yeah, that, that's very true. You could just run that. Yeah, the and diamonds were getting whatever. expensive. Yeah, they were five, six bucks yeah, a piece. Some of, Some of them were getting up to, Man, to nine crazy bucks. Value. Promise of tomorrow. Whenever a creature you control dies, exiled, at the beginning of each end step, if you control no creatures, sacrifice this, return all creatures uh, that were exiled with it into the battlefield under your control. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's a foil mythic. That's our first foil but it, i think all of them have had this little like ding up in the top corner but exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard copy that card three times you may cast the copies without paying their cool. mana cost you gotta take three extra turns that's stupid exactly do? oh i didn't even read zandra zadra zara zara um whenever zara uh attacks it Look at defending player's hand. You may put a creature card into it, or put a creature card from it into the battlefield under your control. Tap to attacking that player or a planeswalker. They can tap so to attacking putting a creature it in from or a planeswalker, hand, and then it goes and then back into their hand. It. Yeah. So it's kind of like a reverse Maxis. sneak yeah, attack that's, type. That's kind of interesting. So it punishes your opponents for playing big cards. And basically. then if you can sacrifice stuff and everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool. That's a good one. All right. See again if there's anything neat out of the commons. Yeah, these diamonds in like every pack. So nice. Jeez. Finally, we needed some. Yeah. Ah, uh, we have the skilled animator, yeah, mask of memories, the siren storm tamer. Oh, that sweet. was a we get some more. Of those. Yeah, that was kind of pricey too. Yeah. Austere command. Are you this serious? This is a spec that killed me because they double oh, print it. It was still like getting up to five dollars until. Well, this it was it was again. my pick for the card that recovered the fastest from double yeah. masters, but you can't predict this type of stuff. Yeah, if they're gonna. Well, Wizards doesn't something. make sense with this. We have the Livio Oathsworn Sentinel. Choose another target creature. It's controlled may exile it with an Aegis counter and return all exile cards with Aegis counters on them to the battlefield under their owner's control. And then it's got partner, so kind of nice little Not sort of a flicker thing. A Crockin, a six eight Crockin. And then a foil fire diamond. Is this the first time these are foil? I'm not for sure. I think they are. It might be. They might be pretty expensive. Because or these were commander sets, and then they were in they old were school. Old, yeah, like Mirage. Mirage and stuff. Yeah, so this... I don't think that... I think this is the first I time. I thought they were they in like 10th or 11th or something, or am I thinking of a I don't different I think so. One? It could have I, been. I can't remember, so... But, oh, Command Sphere, that was getting pricey. Sissé's Ring, that's cool. Um, murder, yeah, there's a lot of that that might actually hit Popper. Popper. Yeah, there, there is a lot. So, um, whenever she, I guess that's a she, or another pirate enters the battle, or enters the battlefield under your control, gain control of another target creature until end of turn, untap that. Until the end of turn, um, it gains haste and becomes a pirate in addition to its other types. That's kind of cool. Oh, now that is actually kind of interesting looking art. Um, where we're near, blah, 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 blah. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, flip a coin. Which can be any coin. It does not matter. It does not have to be any specific thing. It can be a coin. Uh huh. Remember people the, the that people rolls. that were mad that about so. coins had to be a specific weight and, uh, and circumference oh and diameter. Gosh. And I love some of the rules people come up with. If you lose the flip, return that spell to the owner's hand. If you win the flip, copy that spell, and you may choose new targets. And so it is a partner go as crazy well. Now. There's that. Oh, that's pretty. That was an expensive card. Yep, it got up there. So that's kind of yeah. cool. All right, next up. Remember to go and join your Friday Magic with during the lockdown so we can get a $10,000 fine. Not everyone find. else is locked down, just Utah. <laughs> we're at work. I mean, we're both wearing our masks. Yes, we are wearing our, our masks right now while doing this video. Yes, it's not around my chin, but I mean, it's wearing it. So. Hey, all right. So we have Ooh, Path of Answers. That was getting nice. expensive. Yeah, it was like seven bucks. Yep. And then we have the Coastline Marauders. Encore, Exodus card in your graveyard. Each opponent creates a, to uh, a token copy. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So it makes your opponents exile this card from your graveyard for each opponent create a co token and then sacrifice them. Okay, yep, yep. Encore is kind of cool. I will see. Um, Explosion of Riches. Draw a card, then when each other player may draw a card, whenever, whenever a card is drawn this way, it deals five damage to target opponent. Choose at random from the opponents. Okay, just a lot of ways to another one of those. Another root where you're This is such a trap card. It is. It is. You get you get like the worst lands. Just because people so, are like, oh, this will be so great. So each oh, put sure, me search library for three. The they each put one of those cards. Yeah, yeah, they. We're reading it correctly. Yeah. 
Uh, so that's pretty nice. Get yourself ramped and up. And they each I put mean, one of those cards on the bed for Tetler. So in a, the rest in a of the sense, on control. average, that's what? A total of six lands that you get if, four, if you're playing a four-person pod? Because everybody's going to do it. Just no, like no, 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 no. You get just one. They get two. Oh, so so enters get the battlefield. Each opponent may search the library for three basic lands. They put one oh, on okay. the battlefield on your, your control. Oh. Then each uh, and then they put the others so you get three they get two but they get bonkers cards like cobble coffers yeah, and that's herborg true. You, you, and it's uh, a land two. yeah it doesn't even say basic or does oh it, it does say, say basic. basic never yeah. mind womp womp riggedy riggedy wrecked all right so we have obeka uh, chronologist uh you can end someone's turn that's cool, an awesome cool. one and oh. nostril voice of the crags uh, you can scry X, deal X, or gain X. That's yeah, kind of a cool one. Number of spells you cast this turn. And then we hit... Oh, oh, oh that's that? the new foiling, foiling process. That's the new foiling process. That's the one they have messed up on a few websites that says it's a $50 card. So that's the Whoa. new promo. That is pretty... Just their wannabe flesh and blood. Uh, yeah. This is like flesh and blood's cold foiling, I think. Or like, or, or like Pokemon's to or everybody blood. else's stuff because everyone does everything first. It's in the coming magic. up next. Probably not on this channel. Probably on Rogue Deck Builder channel. Cool. That's a cool There's one. That. We'll have to go check that out and see exactly what... I don't see anything too crazy. Prisma. Oh, First Our Knowledge is back. No caller, and then we've got the stone. If you would, how does this work? You lose on spit mana, yeah, that mana, mana becomes, becomes colorless, so it just stays in your mana so pool. So it is going to stay then, because yep. that's what I was confused about. Um, boring on common agent that's never going to play. Whenever you control, or whenever a commander you control attacks, but a one-one counter, and it is a partner. And then we got that boring dude in a monarch is token. That foil? No, that's not. Oh, it looked kind of foily. Yeah. Uh, the print like... process is actually pretty good. I'm not really seeing any errors. There is some. Yeah. Yeah. These, have been, these have been pretty good. Yeah, a couple of those foils had that little dot. Yeah, and a little oh. bit of a ding on them, too. Yeah. Hey, at least they went to Terra Terra Expanses and it's it Evolving Wilds. So you know. have 9 million Evolving Wilds and keep running out of Terra Morph Expanses. A volcanic Dragon, Vow of Flight, the Meteorotic Mace, Keeper of the Accord, uh, creates 1 1 soldiers on the beginning of end steps of your opponents. And at the beginning of each opponent's end step of that player controls more lands, you get a plane. So more creatures, you get a 1-1, one, one, plant land, you get a planes. The cool. Glacian Power, Power Stone Engineer, the Breaches Brazen Plunderer. And if one or more pirates you control deal damage to your opponents, exile the top card of your library of those opponents' libraries, you may play those cards this turn. Okay. It's just like the... Yeah. Ooh, yeah, see, and these another are, mod. And this is, just, this is the old foiling. Yep. On this yep, one. So the is regular. there only like a couple of them that There must foiling? be some legend. I bet it's legendaries. Okay. Kind of, so you'll probably end up seeing those really So in the they're trying to make foils packs. that don't warp, basically. Yes. So, I don't know. These ones are holding up pretty nicely. I mean, I've seen them warp before we even finished the video before. Yeah. So at this point... Oh, Dick Shredder. Um, you control enchanted permanent. Uh, boring enchantment. Plus, oh, that's plus it's one, boring. plus one for each creature you control. Ooh, the new so, lands. So, yeah, it's the dual lands so for the, the, commanders. Yeah, yeah. So, so that makes it nice. Um, that guy. Yeah, what's that with this we've one? We've seen this guy. Oh, we've seen yep. this guy. Um, spells you control that target one or more commanders cost three less. And just a blessing. Three so more, I mean? Crazy. For sure. Well, three more, I mean. I'm sorry. My bad. We got the tome as a... Sparkle Diamond. Moss Diamond. Yeah, man. These yeah, are going to be... Is, whoa, I'm off the nice. camera there. And the Findor and Alice, these were getting way that's, expensive, know, so that's, that's good. That's pretty nice for Popper, at yep. least. Yep. Yeah, that's one of the most expensive cards in Popper. Yeah. Uh, people have, uh, So people couldn't do their 2-2 two -two split either. 2-2-2 two -two -two split. They'd yeah. be like, ah, oh, because... Why, why it mattered to do the 2-2-2 two -two -two split? It's like Echo and Decays and stuff are yeah. really popular. Victimize gets reprint. Porp Razor, here's a mythic. When a Porp Razor deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature you control. After this combat phase, there's additional combat phase. Okay. Wow. That's so it can keep. Cool. Wait, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature you control. After this combat phase, there's additional combat phase. Can't attack a player who's already been attacked this turn. All right, this just made my okay, tally. Okay, I was going to say, are you just taking that and putting in a tally right now? Yeah. So, uh, this okay. is going out the side here yeah, to put you in my tally as, deck. Might as well, I mean. And we will. Uh, I'll play it next time we're allowed to play Magic. Awesome. Uh, whenever Commander Control deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each other opponent. And then we have Slurk All Ingesting. It enters battle five plus one counters, and whenever it dies or another creature dies, 
if they had a plus one counter on it, put a plus one counter on each creature you control that has a plus one counter on it. Ooh. And then we have the mindless automaton. So a huge plus one counter theme in this. Um, I guess we can just start going pretty quick, huh? We've seen, yeah. Yeah, the commons, the commons we've seen. Yeah, all of that we've seen. I mean, yeah, I think you saw one of those earlier. Brass Herald. Yeah, we know that one. All, know that one. Yep, yeah, tokens. Oh, new minute. mythic. So, um, choose any number of target creatures, planeswalkers, and or players. For each of them, exile the top card of their library. Of your uh, library. Oh, of your library. Then, it uh, deals damage equal to the... Uh, cards convert a mana cost to that permanent or player. You may play exile cards until the end of your turn. That's next turn. Or until the so, end yeah. of your next turn. So you're going to so get a lot of, you're basically getting a card for every target you target. Yeah. And then it, hopefully it's going to kill them. Yeah. It might not. Each player draws a card, then each player who drew a card gains one life this way. That's kind of cool. Some more draw card stuff. So that's definitely interesting. All right, so let's go for the next slot. Founder Inspector gets reprint. The mirror. Um, let's go cast down as uncommon. And it rings Ooh, a bright heart. Yeah, nice. this guy, sucker was getting expensive too. Yeah. Nice. That's a good copy one. Very good commander stable. The Hans Ericsson attacks, reveals the top card of your library. If there's a creature card, put that on the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Uh, Defending player or planes are like control. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. When you put a creature card on the battlefield, it fights. So you can get like cards out of your your deck, but then it could it could kill no, Hans. And then we have Arami the the Dead Tide. Exile cards from your graveyard equal to the number of opponents you have. Target creature card in your graveyard gains Encore until end of turn. Its Encore is equal to its mana cost. And a Captain's Call. Sweet. All right, so we'll get through these. Another diamond, nothing else. The, the, the wildness. Oh, he's an uncommon. Why do they print him as an uncommon? All right, wrong turn. Target opponent gains control of target creature. Okay, for, for three mana. Uh, we just got some uncommons. Ooh, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's a new gorgeous. Family. We'll get that to this is. one first. Okay, anyways. Flying, first strike, vigilance, trample. At the beginning of each combat, until the end of... End of... Until the... Uh, until the end of, of turn. turn. Yeah, that's just what it... Until the end. It doesn't say end of whatever. I guess since... But so anyways. it happens to be in combat, in combat and stays in the turn. turn. Okay? Yes, exactly. Each other creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and has flying. Uh, plus one, plus one, if it has first strike, and so on for double strike. So keep plus one, plus one for all, all those abilities. Different yep. abilities. And we've and seen Zur, Zur, which is very, ooh, very popular, even competitive card. Uh, card. Yeah, and that is kind of cool. might be a foil that's, that's not going like to curl. That's a cool gold. I don't know how well the, the, the camera's camera. picking that up, but yeah. that is... That is kind of cool, I will pretty admit Pretty card. That. So... Alrighty, so here is my shtick here. Uh, let's go with the Gildas Commons, which is the kangaroo land for the bounce land for colorless. A thought vessel, that card got expensive at one point in time. Don't know if it's now still expensive. It's worth the scale behemoths, oh. and we have the rejuvenating springs. Man, this so set is this, this set lands. is just yeah. this is like better than double masters. I know it's insane. Jared Carthy and True Hair. Air, not hair. I mean, it could be hair. Make it a rabbit. Enters the battlefield. Target opponent becomes the monarch. You can't become the monarch this turn if damage will be dealt to Jared. While you're the monarch, prevent that damage and put that many plus ones on counters. Uh, and then we have the Call of the Wild, which adds green. When you spend this mana, cast a spell. Convert a mana, cost six or greater. You draw a card. And then a useless crow. Crows aren't useless. I mean, come but on. Jeez, yeah, this box crow. is just money. money. I know. I mean, even just going through the commons, there's just, all, I mean, Command Tower at Common. We've already seen like eight of those. A, a bunch of different uh, moxes. So that's not bad. A return to and dust. Rising and Scholar, it, they print every So uh, when it ends, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. Um, if you're the monarch, in, uh, if you're the monarch six life and two instead cards, is not. six life and two cards. That's kind of cool. Oh, who's this guy? Um, you and permanents you control have protection from salamanders. salamanders. Really? Is there like two salamanders in magic? No, it's going to create one. At the beginning of your incident. Yep. A player who controls a fused creature gets a salamander. salamander. That's kind of cool. So salamanders and strategic planning in a copy. Cool. All right, let's get to the next one. We have, and 
even stuff well, like you just this. just pass another even command. Even stuff I know. like this is just so good. Yeah. All right, so we got the Reclamation Sage getting another printing. Uh, the Ingenuity Engine with Cascade for Ooh. seven, and then Sacrifice an Artifact Return Target Artifact Control with Lord's Hand. So you can sacrifice it, or, or you can return it back to your hand and just keep getting value That's with crazy. Cascade. Not a, not a terrible card, but you have ways no, to reduce yeah. costs. It's pretty good. Yeah. We have the Nightshade Harvester. Whenever land enters the battlefield under, under opponent's control, that player loses a life, and you put a plus one counter on the Harvester. And I can't keep cards in order. Oh We've seen the Recruiter. Uh, Homs, the Guardian of Ration. We saw that one, I think. Who cares, though? Oozes get plus one plus one. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a commander creature token, that's a copy... Okay, if you control the commander, create a token of the copy of Biowaste Blob. And then an Elf Warrior. Oh, sweet. So what, we've got three Mythics so far, and we only got two lands. Are the lands even holding that much? Oh, that's our first Cold Diamond. So there's the Lightning Crew. We've got some more Elves going on. Uh, Jessica's Will. Choose one if you control a commander as you cast this spell. You may choose both. Add red for each card in target opponent's hand. Okay. Exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn. I guess it's... It's not bad, depending if someone's got, a, you know, unlimited hand size. At the beginning of each end step, create an X-1-1 white uh, spirit creature with uh, flying, where X is the number of tokens you created this turn. So that's not just go crazy with... With processions, yeah. Yeah, with, even with, like, Thassa and stuff yep. as, as well, so... I mean, not Thassa. Who, who's your old commander, the black-white one? Tasa. Tasa, yeah. Yeah, that'd right. be good in Tasa. All right, let's get down to business. We've seen a lot of fire diamonds, to so they overprinted fire the horde. diamond. Um, we have angelic armaments, frenzied saddle brute, three visits, which that was a portal card that was expensive. I don't yeah. know if it had a reprinting before this, but now that probably killed it. If so, yeah. um, we have the court of grace. Um, you put a one-one white spirit creature token. If you're not the monarch, if you are the monarch, you have a four-four angel. Um, Turkey, uh, when you do, 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 when it attacks, you may discard a card and then have a creature defending player controls get minus X minus X where X is the number of artifacts you control plus the number of artifact cards in your graveyard. And we have the Ardent Intrepid Archaeologist. Uh, attach any number of auras and equipment you control to target permanent or player at the beginning of your combat. So it's a good way to get those expensive equipments on stuff. And a Foil of Erlid, which was recently reprinted in. All right, two eight. more. Oh, Fred was in uh, Ikoria. Oh, there's a Sky Diamond there's finally. One, yeah. So, but I'll go through some of these. Is it only three uncommon still? Yeah, it is. All right, choose one. Oh, I guess I should get up here. Choose one. If you control a commander as you cast this spell, you may choose both. Well, yeah. So each opponent sacrifices a creature they control with the greatest power. Exile all cards from opponent's graveyards. Then create X-01 Black Thal tokens, where X is the greatest uh, power among those creatures. Cool. So look at untapped stuff, another pirate, and then that's it. So we got one foiled rare or mythic well, look so at that. far. So, look name. at that. I did not know that was in there. I know, there. this set is that bonkers. Is I actually like this set a lot. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, crazy. I have to change my view on, it's... on Magic. But they, well, I mean, even like Double Masters, it's just, it's just everything's There's too soon. soon. Yeah. It's a cool card, too. This, this yeah. impulsive pilferer oh, yeah. creates a, t a treasure when it dies. And it's then it's got bad. Encore. Yep, what am I doing? Let's just get through know. these on comments. I guess it's the last yeah, pack. Yeah, we've seen so many fire it's diamonds. It's the last so pack. fire diamond's going to be worthless. There. Well, yeah, it'll recover, we though. I think this set is Battle Bond. No, it's I was like, just going to say, we've like, seen a million this set, fire diamonds. And, yeah. Well, it all depends. If Wizards yeah. can lay off, which I think they're going to have to. I don't think yeah. there's any way around it. I think for 2021, they're going to have this to slow down. They've overwhelmed everything. Yeah. Shimmermere, as Downship did. Ooh. That was a rare. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Armored Skyhunter. Uh, tax to the top six cards of your library. You may put an art or equipment card from among them onto the battlefield. If equipment is put on the battlefield this way, you may attach it to a creature control. Pretty good to get some bonkers equipment out. Then we have Halana Keswick Ranger, uh, which fights stuff. And then we have the uh, uh, commanders have Death Touch. And then a caged hand. Cool. So all in all, that was a pretty sweet box. I think the mana drain definitely all. put us over the top. But even without the mana drain, I think we're making the money back. I think so these, too. Yeah. These booster boxes, you get less packs. 
but they're the, they're basically the same price. Yeah. They're a little more well, expensive you, you do than get 20 normal cards though. So yeah, and I mean, a lot of those had two three rares in it. Yeah, so it's exactly. it's definitely I mean, this is like the set I think was worth waiting, waiting for, for this yeah. year. I was very disappointed like set boosters that were overhyped. Yeah, they were um, just like open and regular. Double packs. masters was just, it just the pricing and just the the way they did it just, just rubbed me the wrong way. But this one is yeah. actually. Jumpstart was a huge disappointment. Yep. Huge disappointment. Yeah. Um, because it just they were just intro packs. Yeah. With terrible. With the expensive cards, cards in them and forcing yeah. people. It like the product didn't get in the hands of people that wanted to play it because yep. they just put these chase cards in it. I think this one is going to be the good balance because this does have a high supply. Uh, collectors boosters don't have a high supply, but this set itself has a pretty high supply. The foils um, have so it'll not. So be like curled. Battle Bond. Yeah, no, no, no curls, no curls yet. On yeah, the... they all look pretty good. So, so maybe... no, I'll feel good about the yeah. set. Yeah, I think should be so fun too. to draft. I haven't seen any misprints or anything like that, so that's pretty cool. I mean, the packs felt really secure when we were opening them. Um, you get some fun stuff to open, and it'll be fun to draft. I think. Yeah, Once hopefully we, can we do it in two weeks when, or is it three weeks? We're locked down. We're locked for down for six two, weeks. We cannot hang out with family and non-family members for two weeks. So I'm glad we live together. I'm glad we got married, Zach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know it. I'm glad so. got her under common law by now, it. right? I, I think so. <laughs> uh, we got two years left. So. Oh, jeez. So. But it's all good. Arcane the Signet. Going to go throw this in a tally and yes. wreck some scrubs next time they come in in two yep. weeks. Two um, weeks. Two weeks, nerds. Yep. We'll scrub I'm getting the tallies up. out. So. Yeah. No, but what I was saying was we opened... So be careful, fire guys. Diamonds. We open more fire diamonds than anything. We got them I all. I would say, yeah. That's a good one. Though. All right. Well, thanks for watching.